What's going on my fellow warriors? Evelyn here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So guys, I'm currently here on the PTR patch 7.1.5. Now, I know in my last video I said I was going to go through all the specs, and that's what I'm here to do today. I'm going to go through all of the specs, and I mean all the specs. So this video is going to be quite a lot of me talking, and it's actually going to be me talking so much that you guys are probably going to be like bored. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try to organize it into sections so you guys can kind of just click on the section you want to be interested in. So kind of like have kind of an annotation somewhere on the screen or something that you guys can click on to swap to wherever you prefer to look. But we're going to go through duels, we're going to go through arenas, 2v2s and 3v3s, we're going to go through war PvP, RBGs, and we're going to also go through normal BG specs. Now for the RBGs and war PvP kind of thing, it's going to be, I guess to say, kind of the same specs. So we'll go through that first, then we'll go over duels, then we'll go over BG specs, and then we'll finally go over 2v2 and 3v3 arena specs. So, prepare guys, going into this, the ball is deep, let's go into it. So, first up for RBG specs, you want to go and have this spec. And the reason you want to have this spec is because Simply Strikes cleaves multiple targets, Shockwave AoEs multiple targets, so that's kind of like 20 second Shockwave almost all the time. And you've also got Avatar to get yourself out of roots, because you're going to be seeing a lot of roots in RBGs and stuff like that. Now, if you want to go for more of kind of a kind of a rock pressure build, I guess you can go for the Battle Trauma. Therefore, kind of giving you more AoE pressure. But most comps you're going to be playing heavy burst comps, so Avatar is going to be slightly better. And so getting out roots and stuff is really, really nice. Defensive stance, always a must. Always a must. Now, for more combo, definitely the best choice of the three here. And the reason more combo is better is because just being able to use that. I guess I, I, want it, I, want, I don't want to give too much away because I want to leave it in the 7.5 guide that I'm doing for Arms Warriors uh, later on when 7.5 hits. But just let's just say for the moment, more combo is the best just because it puts out more pressure. I did actually do a more combo versus uh, Focus Rage video, so if you guys want to check that out, go. It'll probably put a link somewhere in the screen for for you guys. Next tier, you're gonna go Deadly Cam by far the best. Like I said, the only time you go Trauma is if you go free for battle. The tank tank might does sound pretty nice, but most of the time you probably want to want to be getting reset cost smashed anyway. So this is gonna be wasted if that happens. As for the next tier, you're going to want to go Opportunity Strikes. And the reason why Opportunity Strikes is just does so much damage, it's insane. Now, there is a few other builds you could go, maybe Anger Management, and you could probably go Storm of Destruction, and go for Pain Train, and kind of like have kind of a, I guess, an AoE kind of more combo kind of like a, kind of Light Storm kind of build, which is which might be alright, but I feel, you feel like Opportunity Strikes is still going to be the best, no matter which way you go. Now, as for these talents, it really depends on what you're fighting. Like, let's say you're playing, let's say you're playing a heavy melee comp. You're gonna want to go for, uh, th th we'll go through the talents that affect that in the first place. You're playing a heavy melee comp. You're gonna want to go pain train. This is just gonna make it so your everyone in your team gets recklessness, which is really really nasty. And you're also gonna want to have storm destruction, making it so when you blade storm, you also put more strike on all targets, getting 25% reduced healing on all targets, which is really nice. Now, if you're playing against the melee comp, you're going to want to make sure you have sparring, disarm, and master the commander. And the reason you want them is because 20% having 50% blunt reduced damage on physical attacks is really nice. Disarm, being able to disarm melees is really, really nice. And obviously, master commander, keeping yourself alive and all your healers or whatever, depending on who you need to use it for. Now, this is probably, like, say, the best spec fighting melee comps. If you're fighting a caster comp, you're still going to want to keep this spec here. Don't no change it completely at all. This is going to be always your spec for RBGs and for War PvP. But for kind of like a caster comp, you want to spec for reinforced armor. And if there is one melee on the comp, you're going to want to have this arm no matter what. Well, I did, unless it's a feral, of course. <laughs> um, but if there is no melees at all, and it's just like a feral uh, or a guardian and lots of casters, then I guess death sentence will be slightly better. Going for a spell effect to make it so you can just make it make it easier for you. If you feel like you're going to be kind of like CC a lot, your team's going to be CC a lot. War banner is probably a good choice here. Or if not, then you feel like do will be but slightly better, reducing the damage certain targets do. Especially like like say if you're fighting a melee comp, or even one melee like you say if you disarm the melee and put this on a caster, making it so your healer can kind of die around like that, you know. And storm destruction will still be the best choice no matter what. So this is like kind of like like I say you're kind of this guess this build could also be pretty good for kind of like a multi kind of build, like depending on what you're fighting. You know this 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 would always 
work pretty well. Now for kind of like BGs, I guess you could say, which is the next section, uh, you could kind of like stay, stay this build again. Like I, I did say, I love this fucking build, guys. This build here, and the reason why this is so good is because sweeping strikes hits two targets and more combo makes it effective because you hit more targets more often and cleaving a lot more often. Um, not going to go through all this, you know why all this stuff's good. Uh, for kind of like say BGs, you're probably going to go for reinforced armor if there's not many melee. If there's many melee, you want to go sparring. Uh, this armor is probably always going to be the choice because there's never going to be not a melee on the comp on the other team like when you're in a BG. Now, spell effect will also be pretty good if there's casters. So, no matter what, there's always going to be a caster and always going to be a melee. So, this armor spell effect kind of leave you an option in every situation when you're fighting on your own. Uh, Warband is the best choice for BGs because the simple fact is Duel and Pain Train really don't do anything unless you're playing with people from like your friends or wherever. Then maybe you might want to swap these, but otherwise you're playing your own Warband will always be the best choice. Now in BGs, it really depends on your preference here. I can see Storm Destruction being good for 1vx and Shadow Cost is being more kind of like a, I guess you could say, more, more of a 1v1 kind of thing or 1v2. But in 1vx, I can see Storm Destruction being slightly better just because reducing the healing on all targets is definitely really, really strong. And I feel this would probably be the best BG spec here. I would, like I said, I would swap between these two depending on what we're fighting and these two depending on what we're fighting. Otherwise, the rest of it stays the same. Now for duels, we're going to change a few things. Finding a rogue, this, this is the kind of a rogue kind of like, I guess you say feral kind of spec. Um, you would go for rend. If you're finding a feral, you probably go dauntless instead of overpower because it's just better. But otherwise, if you're finding a rogue, you would go rend, overpower, stormbolt. Uh, you would only swap this for ferals. That's the only thing you really change. Defensive stance definitely a must. More combo, deadly cam, and opportunity strikes also a must. For this talents, I would probably go uh, sparring, this arm, and then you would go rage machine, and then lastly, I would probably go warband because you can't, like I said, these don't really affect you in a dual situation. And for last one, shadow class is definitely by far the best uh, fighting any sort of uh, rogue or feral. Now this all spec, all this spec here is probably what you're going to go for against any melee here for the honor talents. But for other melees, you want to go avatar and you want to go, so you want to stay stonebolt. You might sweep the sweeps and strikes depending on what you're finding, like say a DK, you might just cleave down some of his pets, or you could go shockwave the trouble shockwave some pets. Um, finding a mage also sweeping strikes would be really good, but you could swap to double time fighting a mage because they're going to be counting you quite a lot. Um, but other than that, like I say, shockwave or stonebolt stone sweeping strikes, probably going to be your best bet against any melee, unless they use have like a kind of parry mechanic, in which case you would go overpower. Now for casters, I guess it doesn't really matter. Overpower is really bad. Super strikes more to cleave down a mage's pet. Uh, most cases you probably want to be dauntless. But a lot of casters do have pets, so I guess it could be okay in any situation. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you go on this tier versus the caster. Uh, but probably sweeping strikes is probably the best of the three. Any caster apart from mages, I would say Stonebolt might be the best. Um, but Ellie's are getting a buff, so maybe his double time might be slightly better versus Ellie's because they're going to kite you quite a lot. Um, other than that, Stoneball definitely a really strong choice. Avatar by far the best game you are of roots, and you know why I picked the rest. <laughs> Casters, reinforced armor all times, death sentence to get back on the target if they're in execute range, fire reflect, and warband or shadow classes. You can be seeing a lot of roots or be in an arena kind of situation, then I guess storm and destruction could be better, depending on how often you're going to be sitting there roots and making it so you can get back to the target quite often. So, because storm is Bladestorm is definitely a good gap closer. And that's pretty much it for uh, kind of your, I guess you could say, spec for fighting casters. Now lastly, we're going to get into the 2v2 and 3v arena specs. We'll go quickly through the 2v2. The 2v2 is not going to be too complicated. You can go for your uh, spec like that everyone's going to go for. It's pretty much this spec here. You the only thing you would really swap is if you're fighting, like, say, a melee with swap to sparring. And you find a cast, you would probably swap to Master Commander. So this would probably be good to get. This would probably be your your uh, anti melee spec here, and this would be your anti caster spec here. Reinforced armor and spell effect. Um, you would obviously switch to Death Sentence if you find a caster as well, because disarm 
wasn't really good against Cassus, obviously, unless you're disarming mage. Uh, we'll get some reference. Five points. Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, against a kind of like, I guess, um, caster comp, you're going to want to stick with this kind of spec here. Um, if you're changing against like, kind of like a, I guess you could say, mage that you know you're not going to be seeing too many roots, you're going to be seeing way too many roots, like, and now even still I would say double time uh, wouldn't be better because you need to be able to stun the healer at the right moment or the caster, like mages play uh, blur these, uh, what is it, shimmer these days, so like pretty much stonewall is still a pretty good choice. As for fighting like a kind of melee comp I guess you could say, uh, this is still probably the spec you would go, you would probably go sparring, disarm, and uh, master commander and you would stick with duel because you want to be able to do duel for your healer uh if you're playing double dps probably maybe warband might be slightly better or even pain train depending on what kind of damage you want to do um if you're single our roots against castle comps you would go with stone destruction but otherwise probably this is the best spec here uh the spec here would probably be the best versus melee comps just in my opinion or if you're finding like kind of a like triple pets or something like unholy dk and like a warrior or something you could probably stun two of them getting your double your triple shockwave and having it so you have a 20 second cooldown okay so as for kind of like tribute trading situations this is where it changes up a bit um honestly versus any melee comp dual melee this spec by far the best just because you know the guy of roots cleave down two targets stun two targets just make it so you can peel a lot better Duel by far the best and disarm. This spec here probably still the best. Like I say, no changes here at all as well for extremely trivial situations. Because being able, unless you're really finding like say a melee comp or a rest of druid and you're going to get cloned a lot, you might want to swap boost power reflection. Uh, or if you're going to be single our roots, you might want to go storm of destruction. But at most times, you're probably going to be able to get away with this spec. Just because it's really good against melee comps. And the reason being is because you can disarm say one melee and then dual dealer healing for your healer so you could shockwave they trink it you disarm one dual dealer that's more eight seconds then you, you can do this every 30 seconds as well which is really nice then you could like bear them off and then uh you have shockwave back not too far off uh if you don't if you don't shockwave back you'll have your disarm and dual back depending on what you're fighting that just makes it easier for your healer now honestly though if you're fighting a caster comp uh you're gonna want to change this this and this this and this this and this will probably be your best kind of against classic comp. unless you're finding like a mage in which case you probably won't want to swap to storm of destruction to get out of their roots quite often uh castle wise then i would stay with this bit unless you're fighting like say two castles you know you're not going to hear any pets then stormbolt will be your best choice at all times and uh as for melee caster uh or even hunter no i guess hunter melee will still be classic to melee because you can disarm a hunter. So against caster melee, I guess you would say you go for kind of like the all round build, I guess. The reinforced armor, disarm, spell effect, duel, and shell class, just because it allows you to adapt to any situation. And I would probably go back with shockwave here, depending on what you're playing with. If you're playing with someone that's going to be stunning the healer a lot often, then I would say probably Stormbolt wouldn't be the choice to go and stay shockwave. If you're playing with someone that's not going to be able to stun the healer, uh, shock, uh, Stonebolt might be slightly better unless you're fighting like a melee conference. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is more just an information video rather than showing you anything. I will probably go through you this another video using these specs against casters. I'll probably like do like a caster video where I just fight only casters and use the spec that I showed you. I'll probably do a melee only video where I fight melees only and show, that, show you that as well and I'll probably like do a caster melee kind of thing and show you that as well but anyways guys this video has been 50 minutes and i'm sorry with that but like i said i had to talk quite a lot and uh just to show you guys what is going on so pretty much that's it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave the video with a like i really would appreciate it and if you have any future suggestions or you just want to leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think or just even just to say hi or whatever just let, leave a comment and I will try our best to answer any questions you guys have. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. But as always, this is Evan now. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.